this is a video review of the Transformers Sludge, Snarl, Slag, Swoop, Little Slash here, and Grimlock. Um, the newest rendition of the G1 Dinobots from the Prime Time. So, I got these three on release date. And then, took like six months maybe before these guys even appeared on Australia Shores. I was actually concerned that I might not be able to complete them. So, when these guys showed up, I quickly grabbed both of them in here. Here they are. Um, anyway, um... Let's take a look at the figures individually. Um, what I'll do is we'll look at all of them in robot mode. Then do a quick transformation. They're fairly easy to transform. Fairly similar. Do some size comparisons. You, you know the drill. And then at the end, let's form Volcanicus. So, yeah. Let's go do it. Okay, so let's start with the newest and smallest member of the team. This is Slash. So... He has the unique distinction of being the only female dino bot as well. It's good. So, this girl was introduced in the Powerful Primes line. I don't think he, he she appeared in any of the cartoons or the comics. So, yeah. Taking a look at the figure. And you'll see a lot of common themes um, with these dino bots. Um, there's a lot of this clear plastic being used uh, to simulate the... Um, the chrome that the old Dinobots had, but yeah, and then they all come with the same, almost the same color scheme, except for Swoop. Um, yeah, they come with this same silver, gold, black, and um, red motif, which you know, brings some unity in the team. So, s focusing on Snarl, see, that's the a lovely head sculpt there. She's supposed to be female, but um, I don't see any um, female um, qualities. Anyway. But yeah, nice paint apps, posability, um, swivel neck, ball at the shoulder, swivel at the arm, hinge, nothing on the fist, nothing on the waist, forward, back, side. Swivel, 90 degree knee, that's about it. So, not a, not, not a bad little um, fembot. Now taking a look at Swoop. He is, as you'd expect Swoop to be. Um, thinner than the, uh, the Dinobots, a bit lankier. Um, but otherwise, and of course a different color scheme. Um, he's the only one with the blue chest, unfortunately. But that is accurate to the... Um, the cartoon, so that's not too bad. Um, as you can see, it's a very nice profile. Everything is compacted. Um, whatever kibble you see is the kibble you'd expect. So this is a common theme with all the Dinobots, which is nice. Um, the other thing, as I've mentioned, and uh, when I talked about um, Slash, as you can see, they have this clear plastic. I don't know if you can see it. Let's focus in. See, it's actually clear plastic, painted gold underneath, which gives this layered, um, layered look, which is really nice. Um, articulation. Oh, I see. Look at the head sculpt. Very swoop head sculpt. Anyway, articulation. Ball, ball joint at the head. Ball at the shoulders. Of course, hindered by the wing. But you don't need him to go. This hand to go back anyway. Swivel at the top of the arm. 90 degrees. Swivel that goes that way for transformation. He does have a sway waist swivel, but it is hindered by both the wing and the beak. So he can twist his um, waist. Feet going forward, back, side, upper thigh, bend at the knee, feet that go forward and back. And since this is part of Primes, no ankle pivot. He also comes with this. Um, sword, which is clear plastic painted red. Accurate SG-1 toy. Um, no storage in robot mode, though you can, of course, plug it on his fist. 
and as with all the part of prime figures it does come with the fist now this is a slightly repainted all of the hand fists um hand fist parts just to make it more um you'll see later when we do compact combined mode why i did that but yeah they all come with the, these fists and of course you can remove that and use that as a gun although it looks daft and this one actually combines well with swoop so you can use that as a shield of course but how i want to store it is see how there's these two pegs at the thumbs these will peg on those two pegs there G giving him some a sweet backpack it doesn't look half bad i actually use this one on him just because this one has more even paint anyway again I'll show you what the paint does later in combined mode. Now looking at Slag here, he is, as you'd expect, he has a really nice black head sculpt. His transparent plastic with gold paint comes in the face of the dino and on the legs is nice um he does come with a quite a backpack but that is accurate to the g1 toy and as you'd expect he does come with the same silver red gold motif which is nice and i, I like how that transformation is accurate to g1 toy to some extent of course there are some extra bits for the combined mode but yeah not too bad not too bad now in terms of his weapon, he does come with this nice pistol, not much hollowness that we've got to expect in the Prime Trilogy figures. Does plug there. Now in terms of articulation, his head does move, which is nice. You can turn the head all, all the way around and that would be useless anyway, as he could, he'd be looking at the back of the stego, um, the, the, the triceratops head. Um, he does have ball joint on the, uh, top the arm, swivel there, hinge there 90 degrees, fist that hinge up and down for transformation. He does have a waist joint, a literal, literal ball on the leg, so that much left. That much forward, that much back, 90 degrees on the knee, and nothing on the feet. Now he also integrates with, now this is not his, this is snarl, but they all look the same anyway. This, you can plug that into the chest here, forming the prime armor, or you can hide it by plugging it there. Not too bad. Now, looking at Snarl here, let's look at his head sculpt. Really nice head sculpt. I can't complain. Very G1. And he does come in the you know, Snarl silhouette with the tail at the back, which is nice. And the stego spikes on the feet. It's accurate. He also has the clear plastic with gold underneath. And it's on his shoulder, on his front dino leg and the dino head okay not too bad has some decals you'll see decals in these dino bots as well it's nice he comes with this now this is weird i don't know why they didn't paint this but it comes with this clear plastic and you can see very clear plastic clear plastic sword it's, it's nice and all just Weird that it's clear. I don't know. It's supposed to be an invisible sword or what. Now this stores 
keep it there and as always he does combine with prime armor as well you can either use it as a shoulder shield there or as a chest shield there fortunately there's no place in the back for for it to plug in so you can't really hide it that way this is a common theme on them they do suffer from a slight you know, heel problem you've seen um slag fall over snarl does that too as well so unfortunately now for articulation head is on a ball joint upper arm is in a ball joint um, he would have been my favorite if not for this weird design choice for the shoulders but yeah shoulder should be they, they should be maybe higher and the shoulder should be at the middle not at the base of the top of the arm but anyway swivel there hinge hinge is in inwards for transformation waist joint let's move forward that much back that much side that much upper leg swivel and a hinge and a hinge on the knee because of some weird design choices i mean i i wanted to make this guy my favorite but because of weird design choices this is my least favorite of the dino bots unfortunately now my favorite one this is sludge yes as you'd expect sludge to be same motif it does have the same clear plastic with gold underneath but his is predominantly silver he also has it on the head of the dino you'll see that later on so looking at the head scope that is a very sludge head scope no other way of describing it very g1 it's nice and yeah like again dino but you'll see more of these decals in dino mode but yeah same motif as the rest and i like how they were able to put the panel wings there make him accurate to g1 now this guy has the same gun that um slag has which is accurate is it the same yeah exactly the same of course plugs there he also has integration with prime armor which as you'd expect is just plug it on the chest there are some holes here to make it a shield daft looking shield no way to put it in the back unfortunately but yeah not too bad now in terms of articulation head is on a swivel ball joint on the upper arm swivel at the top of the elbow less than 90 on the elbow hinge for transformation swivel waist like go back uh, forward back that much side that much upper leg swivel mm, almost 90 on the knee so yeah not too bad he's my favorite of the bunch now let's look at the leader of the dinobots of course king grimlock himself again same motif as the rest red gold black and silver his chest has his entire chest is clear plastic with the gold paint underneath which is both nice looking and really troublesome just because I'm always afraid of clear plastic was you've seen if you've seen my reviews I always complain about you know being worried about breaking clear plastic um, parts and this guy is entirely supported by clear plastic and when I go to robot mode it's the same thing this Clear plastic will be supporting the whole top of Volcanicus, so yeah. Anyway, putting setting that aside, that is a very grim lucky look. His proportions are you no know, less than accurate. At least this chunk should be a bit higher, and then there should be a bit of a waist. Looks like the entire th thing formed the entire body, but yeah, you know, it's not bad, it's just. Um, not as grim lucky as I want it to be I guess um, 
same decals there even the transformation aside from this butt flap transformation is almost the same as g1 with the head hanging at the back there and as these um, dinosaur panel wings that this should be here if this was g1 but they put that there otherwise not a bad robot <clears throat> the worst part about grimlock is the fact that he didn't get any weapons so yeah well, all of them they need to have at least one sword and one gun if, if you you have the g1 figures now they they either have a sword or a gun which not too bad but when it comes to grimlock here he doesn't come with either what he does come is the combined mode will come with this uh, combined mode feet which i painted that bit and this turns into apparently his fist weapons so instead of shooting guys and slashing them with a sword he'll be punching them to death I mean, it's, it's a nice way of integrating it and uh, maybe i'm a bit generous when i say it's nice i mean it's better than nothing but i would have preferred to have you know dedicated weapon weapons for grimlock now grimlock also comes with this um dinobot enigma whatever that is it's never explained what it is um i guess it's what gives the dinobots the ability to combine i don't know now unfortunately there's no place to store this or well, maybe you can store that there but that is a loose fit or you can store it in the mouth of the dino as well but again it's a daft place of putting it uh, yep. okay. yeah. can do it that way I guess okay anyway in terms of articulation does have head swivel up and down motion swivel allow it to turn and it is ratcheted because this will support the arms of Volcanicus there is a hinge at the top there as well so swivel and hinge which gives it enough motion it's all the way around so not too bad hindered by the panel of course swivel the upper arm double joints on the elbow and it's not a it's not a double jointed elbow elbow it's literally two joints two separate joints so it doesn't look as nice as a double joint but you know, take what you can get and swivel because of transformation waist joint that can go forward that much back that much to side all the way ratcheted knee and upper leg swivel also oh, lower, lower leg swivel so as you can see he is heavily ratcheted but that's because he is gonna be the main torso of a combiner and he needs to be able to support all the weight now that is one gripe I don't know if it's because it's clear plastic but they it doesn't really peg in well I mean it, it will stay there as soon as it touch this it falls apart it's not too bad it's not the end of the world it's just no something to take note of okay so here's the team again in their robot modes uh, the main problem of them being a combiner is the fact that now Grimlock has to be a lot bigger than the rest because these are all gonna, all gonna be limbs which I guess is fine but you know they're supposed to be about as tall as each other but anyway let's go for some size comparisons okay size comparisons just because I this guy I like this guy so much and he's really accessible and just because we needed a prime to compare him, him, him with, here are the Dinobots with Studio Series Prime, Siege Prime, and Titan's Return um, Blaster. So as you can see, Blaster is out of scale. Let's not even talk about him. Now in terms of the Prime, the Prime is here. Grimlock should be a bit taller. And the rest of the Dinobot should be as tall as Grimlock, so at least now he's more, uh, he's about the same size as the Primes. Um, if you have Titan's Return, Optimus Prime, that guy is even larger than, uh, than him, so at least now he's about the same size. 
Now here they are with my reference figures. Siege Sideswipe and Siege uh, Party Prime Streetwind. So since they're the same line, he is about the same size. But um, Siege Sideswipe here is smaller than the Dino Bus, which is I think, which I think is good. And here they are with Paul Rudd and Mark Ruffalo on a scooter. And since he is here, let's just put him there. There, they, there they are with um, Reinhardt. Okay, so to make the videos shorter, let's just montage the transformation. Although I'll show you some key things um, from the transformation. So let's start with Slash. So you're supposed to fold the feet in, but I don't. I just leave them like that. That way. Now you don't need to do that. But the reason I do that is so that I can hide the face. Huh? A few tips. Tips are always good, right? There is. Flash. Now swoop. Again, I just go through it quickly. You've seen this before. Now, when you transform him, make sure you hold hold on to the base and not on the head. I've seen a lot of figures with broken crests and broken faces so careful peg to the side there pegs to that part So we took the entire feet to be aligned first. That will help. There is a swoop. Now, one other thing. There is the only way to store the sword that I found was to use that port there. We can plug it there. Now that's okay for like flying poses, but not too okay for like just sitting. Again, tip, tips are good, right? That swoop. Now this guy, I've seen a lot of you review the reviewers mistransforming the head. Anyway, let me show you how I do it. So first you cover that face up. there open this part so see there is a peg that pegs there so no it's not like it's just hanging there show that up see I saw a lot of reviewers with this heel piece folded up not folded out and that's why it topples over a lot it still topples over but this greatly reduces the toppling so yeah now to hide you need to fold that back up in ro robot mode so just rotate the feet there you go do the same on the other side <coughs> okay there so you have him in robot mode don't miss that part it's essential part and now Fold that in, and then pick those two picks there. That's the only way to secure it. Okay. Now, it looks like a, an egg with legs. 
Now, I've seen a lot of reviewers stop here. Now, expert tip, what you do is unhook the head like you would do on combine mode. And then, see that? That rests on this part. Now, if you do it that way, it doesn't look like a an egg. Yeah, tips are good. So that is slack. Okay, now for my boy Snarl here. He is a little bit more difficult to co to transform, but not that much. Well, let's just do it quickly. Hold that in. Put the back up. Fortunately, the tail doesn't pick. Yeah. And now it does. It usually doesn't pick well. I don't know. If it's the time it's spent in storage. Okay, now it does pick. Look at that. And that. And then pull that in. Get clearance. Pull that in. the legs properly there you go straightforward my boys now now for the badass patasaurus brontosaurus whatever he is now he is slightly mode of stag here the legs you'll see is the same transformation now let's do that so first thing you do is you hide the head that way. Rotate the head. Now he also has the distinction of not transforming this way, he transforms this way. Mm -hmm. And for the legs, exactly the same as slag there. Again, with the heel, don't forget the heel that heel first again people keep forgetting that heel and they end up with robots falling over on their shelves so and again there is a small soft peg going there so I think there it is there is a groove there that will soft peg there so that doesn't fit nothing around okay. in robot mode mm. Rotate, peg the feet together, move it around, peg, and then peg the tail together. And just now, just fix the feet. And there is slag oh sorry sludge unfortunately without the googly eyes okay last not least let's do the king here so first let's fold the feet in split the chest cover the yes, like that cover the head so pretty much how he transforms in g1 with a slight difference being the tail. So instead of the tail folding up yeah, like that when the tips moving together, it just extends the leg. Or so just straighten out the leg and that becomes a tail. That gives him a slightly longer tail than he needs to have. Yeah. But still, not too bad. Not a bad Grimlock.
Now let's take a look at each of them in detail. Here is Miss Slash again. I don't think I picked her correctly. What happened? Okay. So again, same color scheme. He is, since he is a Legend Slash, he needs a seat for a Prime Master. Which unfortunately is his back. I don't have a Prime Master with me. And I don't think you've seen that. His head is the, you know, is the clear plastic with the gold paint underneath. His mouth can open, which is cool. Otherwise, you know, has these claws. Otherwise, pretty standard Dinobot color scheme. As I said in Transformation, I don't fold the feet in. In just because I want to cover the face. Normally, what you do is pull that up, but then you'd have a the eyes looking at you. So yeah. Anyway, in terms of articulation, head goes up and down. But then you unpick that. You can do it to some extent. You know, that is believable. More than that, it breaks up the transformation. Head goes up and down. And the mouth opens up. Nice. Swivel on the arms. It's not a ball joint, so it can only move up and down, unfortunately. And these are the robot mode arms, so it retains a little bit of that um, articulation. Ball, hinge, hinge. And the tail can go up, but it breaks the sculpt, so just keep it there. That is. So now for swoop. Again, he's the only one with the blue chest. There is a variant of him with the red chest, which I never got. I'm, I'm fine. This is G1 accurate, so I'm fine. Has those decals there. Nicely detailed wings. Again, gold paint under clear plastic, which is nice. Mouth opens, but <laughs> Saying the mouth opens is an understatement statement because it never closes. There's this red paint there. He doesn't have as much decals as the others, except for those. Yeah. In terms of articulation, the wings will open up. You can flap. No. There is another hinge there, allowing you to straighten out the head. So that he looks forward while flying with the mouth open unfortunately again use the base when you move the head just so you don't break the crest or the mouth and then the feet can go up and down so he does do some decent flight poses and then if you have a flight stand there are a couple peg holes there on the waist so yeah that is Whoop. Oh, one more thing. You can still store the Prime Master using those pegs there. And it's, it doesn't look half bad, to be honest. Could have been a lot worse. Doesn't look half bad. Now for Egg Boy, or rather Slag. Still same motif, red, gold, silver clear plastic gold under clear plastic nice has some decals there it's also nice you, you see what you can expect oh, nice Autobot symbols right uh, in terms of articulation this entire leg just goes forward and back of course the so not much hindrance there there is a knee joint there no Foot joint. This is the robot mouth arms, so it still retains the same articulation that it has. But then the feet are stationary, and then the head. Now you can do that. That that doesn't really count as articulation. The horns move. Again, doesn't count as articulation, and I wish they don't anyway. And the mouth does open, but it looks really weird. So I just keep it closed. And then you do have that port at the back for you to store the 
climb armor. Okay, that's it for slag. Now for snarl here. Um, has all these gold crests. At the top there you can see decals. These decals are unique to to the dino bots, I think. No other deluxe has it. Okay. Spikes go all the way to the back, which is nice. Again, cool plastic with gold paint underneath on the head and this leg and that upper leg. So it looks nice. His mouth doesn't open, unlike the other dino bots, which is unfortunate. But what can you do? He has a tiny head anyway. In terms of articulation, this leg just moves around. No knee joint or anything. But it's a tiny leg anyway. And this is the robot mode arms, so it does retain the same articulation that it used to have. Aside from that, no other articulation. Not too bad. Oh, and one more thing. There's prime armor. There's no way to store it at the top, fortunately. So the only way you can store it is right there. Okay, now for big boy slug here. Again, really nice. Does have those decals. Gold and paint under clear plastic on the head, which is nice. Nothing much to complain. He has the unique distinction of having like silver paint underneath gold. I don't think the others have it, or at least not at the same extent. Others will have gold plastic. Oh, he does have a little bit there. But others will have silver paint over clear plastic, but not under. So, yeah. In terms of articulation, his mouth moves just a little bit. His head can go that way, so yeah, if you need it. Then these are the robot mode arms, so same articulation there. And this is just a swivel. This looks like there's a swivel there, but no, that's a solid piece. So yeah. Now in terms of prime armor integration, no way to plug it at the top. No way to plug it at the bottom either. I thought there was a way there. Anyway, so the only way to do it is here on that peg hole there. Okay, now for Grimlock here. He does have a weird silhouette. I mean, he is the least accurate to the G1. And I think the main culprit is the longer legs, the longer tail, and the weird leg. But that is all due to the combined mode. Anyway, looking closer to him, has a really nice Grimlocky head. Yeah, opens up really well. Clear plastic, gold neck. All these decals. These are not local labels, these came with the figures. It's nice clear plastic again scary scary clear plastic again this this odd leg design odd tail design as well from the front he looks like Grimlock from the side a little bit off but Grimlock so yeah at the back I mean not clean at all that's where the head hides and that is the crotch of the combined mode so yeah in general, not, not a bad Grimlock. He is G1, as G1 Grimlocks need to be. In terms of articulation, head goes up and down, mouth opens, whole lot, ball joint on the tiny front arms. This is the robot mode arms, so you can do, well, that is not a articulation, that is chest opening. And, you know, robot mode arms, so. All the way around, several double joints. Yeah, and the tail does go up slightly, but you know, not too much motion there. So that's good luck. Now here's the entire 
Dinobot team again together and they do look nice I mean like I said color schemes are are all coherent except for swoop here what can you do um, aside from the size you know discrepancy here they all do look nice this guy should be the largest I guess the they should be about the same size what can you do now for some size comparisons I won't show you the whole shebang but yeah, here they are with Light Snack. Sorry, not Light Snack. Um, Mark Ruffalo on a scooter. And Siege Side Swag. So you can see, oh, they don't scale though with anything. Well, maybe Grimlock scales with this guy. Everyone else is way too small. And here they are with Paul Rudd. Now for combined mode, this guy doesn't combine, so so for combined mode, again, I'll just montage it as well. You know how it is, and as, um, I'm just going to do my preferred configuration. So yeah, let's do it. Now starting off, now we're starting off with this guy. Let's start with the legs. First thing you do is... And push that. Then there is a hinge there, so that hole, that peg, that hole, they go together. Then you can leave the head that way or around. I just do it that way. Now the tail will hinge over there. There's no locking mechanism or anything, but then uh, the, the hinge is strong enough. Um, the feet. Again, that tab there will lock there, same place, keeping it, sorry, no, not there, there, keeping it secure. And the arms, that We'll peg in there. That's the purpose of that hole. Doesn't hard peg, you know. Soft, soft pegs. And that hole. Sorry about my giant arm. And then there you go. Leg mode. Now let's do this guy. And peg the tail. Now you can either play it open or leave it closed. We'll see later how it goes. Big hole. It's not like all these legs will be floating around. They all go into a specific place, which is nice. And I don't know if you hear, heard that, but it this that's peg, so if you heard this, will peg like that. I haven't been able to figure out where it is, but yeah, there you go. I haven't been able to figure out where that pegs, and that those two will peg to the gap in the head, but you, know, you don't peg together as much, so yeah, that's the other leg. Let's do the arms. So, by the way, this configuration is how it is in the game. Um, that iOS game. Can't remember the name of the game, but yeah. I follow that configuration. Let's see. Peg. Just a small slip there. Everywhere. Everything goes somewhere. Which is nice. Peg. Lot. Now you unpick this, unpick the entire waist, and this will become. Uh, you unpick that first. <laughs> I was going to do leg, and I was doing a hybrid leg foot mode. I look like arm mode. I'm supposed to do it this way in arm mode. 
then tail will go that way. And the arm can go either that way, that way, and this will rest like that. That's arm wood. Now let's do swoop. Okay, the arms. Oop, still there. Okay, the legs. Use the hinge at the bottom to hinge the head down. Now the arms peg slot. Again, same with the other arm. And then straighten out the wings. And those pegs will soft peg on those holes. Doesn't hard peg or anything, just place where to sit. And then set this up. Okay, orient it the way you want. So it could be arm uh, set go that way or that way. And then feet. Unfortunately this these feet don't stick together, so yeah, that's the other arm. Now let's do the body. Open this, hinge this forward, similar to how you would do in the normal Grimlock mode. Now this is a scary bit. Hold on to that. And it should peg that way. Now, that peg will go into that hole. So you just position it properly. Go. Again, on the other side, this one, will, you'll hear a pop. Now this entire bottom part will be his bottom. See holes and pigs. Turn the waist. Open up the legs. Straighten that. Go. He does the whole combined worst Optimus Prime just open up the legs and that's it thing which is annoying but what can you do now that pig will go into that hole there and you need to firmly secure that for the arms to not flop which is ambitious difficult because it doesn't want to secure itself Secure. There you go. Now open that panel up and reveal the head. There you go. Now this is daft. Can you do? Put the Dinobot Enigma there. That's it. Now the other thing I do is, remember how I said I custom painted these ones? These are just a gold and gold sharpies by the way. So one side I painted gold and I just use that peg and peg it in that hole. And that, that sort of fills that gap, which is nice-ish. You do what you can. Do the same on the other side. Again, I only painted one side.
there you go that is my torso now feet I painted the toes to the back uh, not nothing much but it does make it look like the like the game so you peg the feet there these are nice ratchets very tight peg it there now you just use the same combiner port yeah, it's very combiner wars thing so you can actually use uh combiner wars figures with this guy if you wanted to not that it would look nice not that it looks nice just with dino bots anyway uh, so that's the leg you may use it so you can see the arms he does get some get tall so combine report goes into there combine report goes to there uh, secure and move him back he does get very big and the other arm I did custom just the fist part as well as the tips of the fingers there so you fold it that way fold it that way and then peg it on the arm here I wish the feet would stay together but what can you do you don't want to stay together feet there we go again the other arm also slightly custom there you go let me just position him well and there you have Volcanicus combine mode so yeah I mean it's not the nicest looking combiner but well, take a closer look at the head it's like an upgraded Grimlock head And this is the configuration on that iOS game. So that's how I do it. And makes sense to have swoop as an arm anyway. The legs and that guy there, I think you can swap around, but it makes sense to have the flyer as the left arm. You'll see how nicely these fill this. Without that, it just looks like oh, he has a very tiny body. But yeah, really nice. Okay, I don't think I fit everyone in the frame, but yeah, there's the same guys as earlier for size comparisons. Here he is with um, Reynard there, the two Optimus Primes, the Titans Return Blaster, um, Dreadwind Sideswipe, Mark Ruffalo. Paul Rod, as you can see, he towers over everyone. Yeah, he does make for a, a striking, striking robot. Although I wish the torso would have been, you know, a little more formed. Okay, not too bad. Now, in terms of this guy's articulation, he has a swivel neck, the proper um, combiner port there, so he does have the. The full range on the arms this is the knee of the robot and this is the wrist so full movement on the both arms legs will have the swivels and the hinges at the top there then the rest are you know combined reports so full range there and as you've seen the feet does have heavy ratchets which is nice so you can put him in pretty decent um, action poses although there are limits 
as you'd expect. Now, are you uh, now? I think the final question would be: uh, Should you hunt this guy down? He's been out for a while now, so he might be a little bit hard to to hunt down. But in my opinion, this is probably the best official Dinobot team that we've got since G1. Um, and you can safely ignore the combined mode if you don't really care for a combining Dinobot team. But in any case, in robot mode, they all look nice. Um, dinosaur mode, they all look nice. This, she's optional, but in she also looks really good as a standalone robot, so probably the cheapest of them all as well. So just get him, get her as well. So yeah, I mean, if you want an official Dinobot team, this is probably the way to go. I know there are third parties that will look nice, but you'll you'll probably pay for the price of the entire team for just one Dinobot. So yeah, up to you. I mean, yeah, but for me. They're good. I don't need those third parties. I'm good with this. So yeah, that's it. That has been a review of all five plus one Dino bot and the combined mode. So he gets she they get a thumbs up from me. So if you like that review, please do leave a like, leave a share, leave a comment, do subscribe, and as always, this is this has been Grim Trigger. And this has been my man Volcanicus, thanks for watching.